We're back with another installment on this 572 Keith Black Hemi. And what we're doing today is something we overlooked. Um, when we got the block, it comes with all the parts and pieces except for two items. And those would be the oil restrictors that go into the block. And uh, we didn't have them. And we had the restrictors in the back because that comes in the kit. It's a Moroso kit. I will supply the part number. Um, having talked to Tim Banning for Hemis Only, uh, dealing with him, he was one of the main architectures for this engine and the vast improvements on this aluminum engine are amazing. So it's got priority main oiling and it feeds an awful lot. So what we're dealing with here is the camshaft on a normal big block Chrysler feeds at a 10 and a 2 and it's usually staggered on the block. So the cam only goes, when it goes around, the cam actually just spurt feeds. Well, not on this engine. It feeds from the back of the engine up into the lifter galley and then feeds full time, no matter how the pump is going, it's gonna feed full time. So if you do not have any restrictors here, it floods the top real fast. That was the problem we had when we primed the engine up. So we did put the restrictors in the back, the 60 thousandths restrictors without O-rings, um, and uh, it restricted everything proper, but we just didn't have them in the head. So today what we're doing is we're taking the cylinder heads off and we're going to put the restrictors in. I'm going to show you how to do all that. And then we're going to put the heads back on and then prime it, verify we have our check valve right on our uh, Mylodon pump and we're good. Okay, now we have our cylinder heads off. You can see how the studs stay in here. You don't want them protruding through the floor of the runner. You just want them almost flush to a point. Okay, here's the driver's side bank. And if you notice, right above here, the coolant, you'll see that is our feed-through hole. And on a Keith Black Hemi, that side over there is the same side as here. So they threaded that. And that's where this comes to play. So I called Tim Banning for Hemis Only up in Canada and uh, he told me what we needed and he likes to use brass set screws and they got like an Allen inside there. So that's what he uses. These are 5 16 18 3 8 long and I couldn't get them shipped here because of all the restrictions with shipping and stuff. So what we did was we went on eBay and found someone that actually sells them. So we bought a small bag of them. Kind of glad we did because uh, drilling through brass sometimes with a number 60 drill bit is a pain. Uh, I've broken a couple of them. So I got halfway through on that one and broke one. And then I finally wised up and went real slow and took my time and I got two out of the bunch. But to show you um, how tiny a number 60 drill bit is, which is actually 40 thousandths, is that small. So that's what we did. We got a set of these. And then most of the drill bits we have here, they won't chuck up real tight. So I had an extra one I put on there. It looks kind of hokey, but you can see how it grabs. They want to grab full, make sure it's tight, and then put that all the way down in there. And when you do this, just run a little bit of oil on the set screw. So what I want to do, okay, you can see here I took an Allen wrench that will fit the set screw, okay? This is not the greatest way to do it, but guys, I'm on my own here. Put the set screw in and we'll line it right up real nice up and down. We'll take a little dab of oil. Put it on there, and then we'll go really, really slow. Okay, and then you can see how it's a little recessed in there, the set screw. And then if you look through there, there's the hole. That's a 40 thousandths hole. So we're going to put our 40 thousandths oil restrictor that we had made and drilled out. We're going to put it in the block. We're going to use a little bit of blue Permatex Loctite on here and uh, we're going to screw that down into that hole there and we're going to recess it down. Now on the Keith Black engines, what I've noticed is the threads go down about an inch. So beyond that, I don't know. Um, I don't want it to go down into the block. 
So I want to make sure I secure it with just a little bit of Loctite on there and put that in. Recess it below so it doesn't touch the head gasket because we're sitting right below. Right below us sitting here is our coolant passage. So if this gasket is lifted here a little bit and you pressurize your head and you lock it down with the bolts, you're going to have a coolant leak. So we don't want that. So we're just going to recess that down and have a nice day with it. So let's continue on. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something interesting because I was cleaning this out just to make sure I didn't have any fragments in there. So I want to show you how much pressure that can actually this push at 40,000. So it's just got a regular, just regular spray bomb brake clean here. So I think if that hole was wide open, I'd empty the oil pan on a startup and an idle. So that little restriction will flow a lot of oil. Okay, so I have a little dab of blue on there. I'm not using the red, we'll never get it out. And if we strip a brass plug and an aluminum block, it's not a nice thing. So we're just gonna use a little dab of that. And then thread it in. Okay, and that's flush in there. I'm going to go to the other side and put this restrictor in. When you're putting the goop on it, make sure you don't handle it with a hole here. It would be a bad day. I just want to put a little bit on the threads just to keep that thing from walking down in the block or wherever it's going to go. I don't want it walking, so engine vibrates a lot. We just don't know. So we want to make sure it just kind of stays snug for us. So now we're at the back of the block and this is where our two restrictors are back here. These are the 60 thousandths restrictors. And uh, what I want to show you is this is the Moroso kit that you get in the block kit. 22016. Okay, it's an oil restrictor kit. It's 60 thousandths. So these have 60 thousandths holes drilled into them so they can run the, the oil all the way up through. Big deal. So see the two O-rings in this kit? You don't use them on the Keith Black engine blocks. Um, this part number actually comes up to big block Chevy and that's what they use on the big block aluminum engine So we use the same ones flush mount um, However, we just don't use the o-rings. So in conclusion everybody um, I wanted to show you a couple of tech things that we needed to do in oil restricting Which is actually very basic and it's actually applies to Bill Mitchell blocks as well 40 thousandths restrictors and the restrictors back here the only time you're not going to use the restrictors back here is if the lifter bores are bushed. Um, we're not bushed for the lifter bores. That's why we need the restrictors back here. But leave the O-rings out and that's the kit you will get when you get your block. So we went over the areas for the oil restrictors and in the back on this engine block. Last thing you would like to do on the head gasket, you want to look at the exhaust side. And if you see here, you have to take the head gasket and clearance that little area where the push rod goes. Just verify that you're good and you got good clearance on both sides. If you don't, later on, it's possible the push rod can contact that area. So you see, no aluminum is showing beyond the head gasket surface. Also, be careful because head gaskets for Keith Black only, the aluminum blocks, the steam ports are different so you can get another head gasket that would fit this but your steam port holes will be wrong so make sure you go to tim banning it for hemis only and get the correct head gasket so on this cheat sheet that i have um, that was gotten from bob mazzolini the head gasket part number for the keith black aluminum block is h1265 spm 040 xp they also make it in 045 xp but you have to get these head gaskets solely through Tim Banning at ForHemisOnly.com. If you call Kometic, they're going to direct you right to him because he owns the tooling. So I think that's going to about dial us in for everything on this engine. We are clearanced in the exhaust push rod holes, and also we have our restrictors correct. And one last thing is the oil pump. So what I want to show you is we have the billet mileage on pump, and then we bought this one here. This would be our. 21550 oil pressure regulator big block Chrysler wedger Hemi and what's really nice is you can adjust this and then you just lock down this and this will set your pressure on the spring so the kits real easy you pull the stock plug and spring out and you put the new plunger in and the spring and that and you'll notice you can clock it when you're spinning this up with a drill and you can set your pressure really nice item to have
Everybody, thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next tech video. Take care.